Hi, this is KeatonCart89 with another one of my 1-6 figure reviews. This is the Fire Toys Space Princess, or 1-6 Princess Leia, as everyone knows it. You can tell clearly by the belt and the costume as I scroll up the box who it is. And the head sculpt on the figure. And we'll just move across to the actual figure itself. As you can see, it's completely distorted because my camera's... There we go. That is the Princess Leia head sculpt. Probably the best angle from the front of the box. And I'll just scroll down the figure. As you can clearly see the Princess outfit from A New Hope. And I will say that I've put this figure on a original Hot Toys Empire Strikes Back layer base. There is no base that comes with this figure. It is just the figure itself. And I'll just put the accessories in the shot. You get two rifles, the pistol and the Stormtrooper Blaster rifle with fold-out stock. And you also get three additional hands. So quite, quite, quite basic. Um, the box itself has no information on the box at all, completely blank. Nothing on the box at all. The back of the box simply has a picture of the figure and what it contains. Again, as you can see, there's no figure stand that accompanies this figure. Again, no information other than the Fire Toys branding and nothing else on the box or the top or the bottom there's no barcodes no information of uh, who sculpted the figure who's responsible for any of the tailoring on the figure nothing at all so this figure in my opinion is uh, comes in under a hundred pounds and I have to say when I first opened the box, I was very impressed with the figure. I thought it was very Barbie-ish. Until then you realise that, um, really, the Princess Leia is basically just a glorified Barbie's old body on a head sculpt. The tailoring on the outfit is absolutely superb. I'll just scroll around. And as you can see, it does have the hood. The hood has a wire just running along the top there. Um, I used a little bit of steam to flatten it. It is, uh, does take some work to do it. Um, the belt itself seems to be plastically moulded. There doesn't seem to be any way of unfastening that. Unless you're prepared to damage the belt. Which I'm not prepared to. As you can just probably see through the material, there is a very, very short underslip with this figure. And the legs themselves are bare. And she has the Princess Leia sculpted boots. Which I have to say, as you can see some detailing on the, the boots. Very well detailed. Very surprised when I saw this. And as I say, the tailoring on the figure, in my opinion, is very nice. Um, could this be mistaken for a Hot Toys? Uh, I'd have to say I don't think so. I think the Hot Toys head is of a better sculpt. But, and this is a big but, for the money you are saving buying the Fire version, and that it does include doing a chase for the Hot Toys base to put it on, I would recommend a Hot Toys base because, um, you know, as I say, it doesn't come with a figure stand, or you can, you know, kit bash the figures and yourself I prefer the Hot Toys bases I'm not pertaining to sell this figure on I'm uh, not attempting to pass it off as a Hot Toys it's not it's Fire Toys and one extra thing I'll just show you with this hand here which is a trigger finger which you can exchange for the standard hands just flat open palm almost 
what I actually thought of for A New Hope was, if you could add anything to the figure, what would it be? Now, one of the things I thought was, if you were able to uh, get an R2-D2, you could obviously recreate the scene where she's handing over the Death Star plans. And um, I thought it would have been nice if they'd included the, the Death Star plans sort of key card with that. And um, I thought, well, you know, um, th there was something in my mind that just plagued me. And I thought, I've seen something very similar, you know, that, that you could use for that. And, I, and for, for the life of me, I just couldn't think and couldn't think and couldn't think. Until I went to pay for something with my, uh, with my cash card. And I came across that staring right back at me which is the microchip for your cash card or debit card or whatever you want to call it with the microchip on the back. Now I have fractured this microchip, I've completely snapped it and broken it with a scribe underneath so this isn't viable, it's, uh, it's, it certainly won't function and um, what I actually did was I just placed it in a hand and um, surprise surprise it fits and it's the exact right size in my opinion for the Death Star plans. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I can assure you it does fit in her hand. Um, you may consider it maybe a little undersized, but it is clearly passable and functional with the figure. So, you know, in my opinion, if you have an old cash card, you know, cut the card up, break the chip on the back, and uh, it's usable as, a, as Death Star plans. Um, so, as I said, the... Um, the pistol that she comes with, quite nicely detailed, no moving parts on them at all, just one moulded piece. There is some uh, detailing on the barrel as well. And with the blaster rifle, stormtrooper rifle, all basically one colour, no, uh, no additional coloration to it, um, apart from on the, on the stock. I'll just try and fold that out again, please excuse me. So as you can see, you can actually fold that out if you wish. I prefer to uh, keep it sealed on the gun. And have it like that. So anyway, there's not really much I can tell you uh, about this figure other than that. The hood does actually lift and raise. Um, but again, it will take some steam to sort of drape it into a, into a hood that doesn't stick out a country mile behind her head uh, when the hood is raised. But as an alternative to the Hot Toys A New Hope figure, which is um, quite a high-priced figure, I would thoroughly recommend picking the Fire Toys um, version up. It does um, suit very well with any Hot Toys figure that you have if you haven't got the Princess Leia. And um, there's not more, not a lot more I can say about this figure. Um, I am very happy with it. Um, again, it's clearly not a Hot Toys and I would never pass it off as a Hot Toys. And the, uh, the figure base is I've always um, tried to keep them with with any um, kit bashes I've done. I've always tried to use as many Hot Toys original parts as I can. Uh, so the bases look um, stock across all my figures, kit bash or otherwise. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.